Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're diving into a critical topic, residue on ignition and sulfate ash testing. What are residue on ignition and sulfate ash tests? First, what do these terms mean? Residue on ignition and sulfate ash tests are analytical techniques used to determine the amount of inorganic residue left behind after burning a pharmaceutical substance. These residues typically consist of trace metals, salts, or impurities that don't combust. Think of it as a way to measure the leftovers. After the main ingredients burn away, why is this important? These tests ensure purity. The product doesn't contain harmful inorganic contaminants. Compliance. It meets pharmacopoeial standards like those in the USP. EP or BP. Consistency. Each batch is up to the mark, the testing process. Now, let's look at how these tests are performed. Sample preparation, a precise amount of the sample is placed in a crucible. If testing for sulfate ash, the sample is treated with concentrated sulfuric acid to convert all carbon-containing compounds into inorganic sulfates. Ignition, the sample is then heated in a muffle furnace at a temperature of 500 to 600 degrees Celsius. This step ensures complete combustion of organic matter, cooling and weighing. After ignition, the residue is cooled in a desiccator to prevent moisture absorption and then weighed. Calculation, the residue is expressed as a percentage of the original sample weight. Here's a quick comparison, residue on ignition. No sulfuric acid added, measures all residue, sulfate ash, sulfuric acid ensures all carbon is converted to inorganic sulfates, offering a more refined measure of residue, applications in the pharmaceutical industry, these tests are widely used in pharmaceutical quality control to evaluate, raw materials, like excipients and active pharmaceutical ingredients, finished products, to confirm compliance with regulatory standards. For example, they ensure talc, magnesium stearate, or other excipients don't exceed acceptable impurity levels. Why are these tests regulated? The pharmaceutical industry is highly regulated to ensure patient safety. Standards for ROI and sulfate ash are set by pharmacopoeias like the United States Pharmacopoeia and the European Pharmacopoeia. These tests help detect impurities that could compromise product safety or efficacy. Let's go through an example to make the concept clearer. You are testing the sulfate ash content of a pharmaceutical excipient, weight of the crucible, W130.000 gram, sample weight, 2.000 gram, weight of crucible sample before ignition, W232.000 gram. Weight of crucible residue after ignition, W330.050 gram, step-by-step -step calculation, determine the sample weight, sample weight equals W2 minus W1 equals 32.000 gram minus 30.000 gram equals 2.000 gram, determine the residue weight. Residue weight equals W3 minus W1 equals 30.050 gram minus 30.000 gram equals 0.050 gram. Calculate the sulfate ash percentage. Sulfate ash percentage sad face residue weight upon sample weight into 100. Substituting the values, sulfate ash percentage sad face 0.050 upon 2.000. Into 100 equals 2.5%, interpretation, the sulfate ash content of the excipient is 2.5%, if the pharmacopoeial specification requires it to be below 3%, this sample passes the test, this simple calculation demonstrates how sulfate ash testing ensures compliance with quality standards. Let me know if you'd like to see more examples or variations. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated on all things pharma.